Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Noah, if you don't know me, and uh, please excuse uh, me if this video isn't as good as the other ones. Uh, it's kind of late at night, and I'm doing it on the fly. I'm actually going to be away tomorrow and uh, and Monday on a bit of a trip, so uh, I'm kind of making this last minute, and I apologize for that, but uh, let's hop right into it. So uh, today we're going to be covering... Uh, geometry lessons uh, 6-1 and 6-2. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, I'm going to take it on face value that you know what a polygon is and you know what uh, diagonals are and regular polygons and concave and convex. I'm basically going to guess that you were in class or you read the chapter. So uh, you're going to come across a theorem at the very beginning and it's called the polygon angle sum theory. What that says is that the sum of the interior angle measures of a convex polygon with n sides is n minus 2 multiplied by 180. So what that looks like is n minus 2 times 180. And that's going to equal the sum of the interior angles. Alright, so uh, Let's take a look at a triangle. A triangle, we all know, has a 180 degrees. So it has three sides, 3 minus 2 times 180. 1 times 180 equals 180. So that kind of proves and goes to show you guys how that works exactly. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you that in a different way by introducing this second theorem, and it's called the Polygon Exterior Angle Sum Theorem. And it says that for any uh, single exterior angle measure of a polygon, a uh, convex polygon actually, is it's going to have a sum of 360 degrees. Now I'm not going to go ahead and sh show you why that is, but I'm going to tie that back in to this uh, triangle polygon sum theorem and uh, I'm going to show you why it works um, if you're one of those people that wants to know and it's because if you have n minus 2 multiplied by 180 uh, if you distribute you're going to have 180 times n minus 360 okay so you're going to have 180 degrees times the number of sides minus 360 degrees and because both of these, uh, because the exterior and the interior uh, theorems both use convex, uh, they kind of equate. So you have 180 degrees uh, times the number of sides minus 360 degrees. Now we know that a line has 180 degrees. So if you have 180 degrees, basically, times the number of lines, right? three lines make up a triangle, four lines make up a square, so on and so forth. So n can be the number of lines. And then you subtract it by 360 degrees, that's going to give you the interior angles. And that's because, let's take a triangle. You have three sides. Now, uh, each one of these lines has 180 degrees. But because we have more than one line intersecting, we're going to have an exterior angle. So we need to subtract that exterior angle from the interior angle, right? But we know that all of these exterior angles equate to 360 degrees. So we can simply multiply 180 by each one of these lines and subtract it by 360 and find the sum of the interior angle measures. So that's just kind of how that works. And uh, you're going to apply those two theorems. Uh, it's pretty simple, so I'm not really going to go over it. There are a few examples you might run into, such as uh, such as using variables. So they're going to give you several variables for interior angles. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to find that shape, uh, figure out what the sum of the interior angles are, right? So if it's a so if it's a uh, if it's a pentagon, it's going to have 540 degrees, I believe. So it's going to give you uh, like let's say x and if you add up all the interior angles it's going to be like 13x or something 
equals 540 degrees, right? So if you have something like this and you have 4x and then you have 5x and then you have 1x then you have another 1x and then uh, let's see if I can do some math 2x that's kinda gonna be what it's like so you can work your way through those and uh, when it comes down to 6-2 it's basically applying some theorems uh, you can go ahead and take a look at those they're kind of self-explanatory now where I really see some people having difficulties are on the uh, the last few problems she had us do Mrs. Klinkscales and uh, give me a second to find it in the book here uh, 6-2 Um, excuse me for not uh, preparing ahead of time. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, 64, 65, and 66. Um, they all have to do with an interior angle measure of a regular polygon is given. Find the number of sides and the measure of each exterior angle. Right? So I can't do one of these, but because um, that would be cheating. But I can do a similar problem. So let's go ahead and do uh, 150. All right, and I'm going to choose a different color here. So let's choose 150 degrees for a uh, for one interior angle. Interior, or I can't spell. Um, so it, uh, again, that's 64, 65, and 66 on uh, six dash two. So Let's take 150 degrees for an interior angle measure. Now let's take what we know. Well, we know that uh, n uh, minus 2 times 180 is going to be equal to this total, right? Now we know this total is, uh, is this 150 times the number of sides. And that's because the number of sides of any uh, polygon, uh, any convex polygon, is going to be the number of interior angles, right? So if you have a triangle that has three sides, it has three angles. If you take a square, for instance, it has four sides, it has four angles. So we know that 150 times n is going to equal t. All right. So if we do a little bit of algebra here, we can figure out that n minus 2 times 180 is equal to 150n. Now let's go back and figure out what we're really trying to find. We're trying to find the number of sides in each exterior angle measure. Well, this is going to help us find the number of sides, but in reality, the exterior angle measure, uh, we know that they're all pretty much going to be equal. So we can take 180 minus 150, we get 30. And that's going to be the, uh, the sum of the exterior angle measures, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll go back there and we'll check that. But anyway, so let's solve for n. We'll find the number of sides. Um, so if you think about it, the best way to do this I actually like, I don't like having to deal with uh, parentheses, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute it. I'm going to get 180n minus 360 equals 150n. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and add 360 to both sides, and we're going to get 180n is equal to 150n plus 360. So now if we subtract them, subtract each side, excuse me, from uh, 150n, we get 30n is equal to 360. So we're going to divide uh, by 30. And I made this problem up off the top of my head, off the top of my head, so uh, it might not work out 
correctly in terms of uh, an even number of sides, it probably won't. All right, so we have, uh, I did that wrong. We are going to end up with uh, about, Twelve sides. It did work out. Great. So we have n is equal to twelve. So we have twelve sides, right? So twelve sides means twelve exterior angles, and we determined up here that thirty degrees was uh, each exterior angle. So twelve times thirty is going to be the same as uh, three hundred sixty, right? Because 12 times 3 is 6, add that 0 on from the 30, and we're going to get 360 degrees. So that works out. Uh, really, when it comes down to it, n is going to be equal to uh, 360 divided by each exterior angle measure, right? That's just how you find the number of sides. That's how an equation comes out. I found that as I was doing this. It's just kind of a pattern. The number of sides, and you can check me on this. I wouldn't take it on face value. Go ahead and check check this, but uh, as far as I've found, uh, the number of sides is equal to 360 divided by the measure of each exterior angle. So sorry if this was running kind of long, guys. I hope it helped. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know, but I not, might not be able to get back to you until about Tuesday or Wednesday, because I'm going to be away. Uh, if I somehow get connection to Wi-Fi, I'll try and answer it. But uh, anyway, let me know how I did, uh, and if I can help you out, and uh, thanks for watching.